Hello, this is the Minister of Games. In this video, I'm going to show you how to beat the Serpent in the World Serpent Boss Event to unlock the new awesome Serpent Shadow Clone ability in the Roblox Blade Ball game. Roblox Blade Ball is a thrilling game where you have to use your skills and strategy to deflect a homing ball and hit your opponents. You can also use different abilities and upgrades to boost your performance and customize your look. One of the coolest abilities is the Serpent Shadow Clone ability, which lets you create one or two clones to fight with you. The second clone costs 10,000 coins, but it's totally worth it. Having clones on your side will give you an edge in the battle. To get this ability, you have to join the Serpent Boss Battle Event and defeat the Mighty Serpent. The World Serpent Event is a special live event that occurs periodically in Blade Ball, usually every 30 minutes. The World Serpent Event is different from the regular gameplay of Blade Ball, as it adds a new element of danger and unpredictability to the game. To join the battle event, you can find the stand with the Serpent Boss's head and a countdown clock near the entrance. Just stand on the gray platform and wait for the battle to begin. The battle has three stages, and the second one is very hard. You might have to try several times before you can beat the serpent. Stage 1. The bottle's first stage is simple, slow, and a bit boring. The serpent is located in the center of the map and shoots a new ball that targets players, which can be deflected back to the serpent. All abilities are disabled for players on this stage. After deflecting the ball towards the World Serpent a certain number of times, the Serpent will become vulnerable, and its HP bar will decrease upon the next deflection. This cycle goes on until the World Serpent has lost one-third of its total health, which is the third green bar out of the three bars at the top left of the screen, and the game will then enter Stage 2. Those three green bars at the top right of the screen are marked health but actually represent three stages of the game. You, as a player, have three lives, which are represented by three white bars. Anytime you get hit by a ball, you will lose one white bar and one life. To be on the safe side in this stage of the game, it's better to keep maximal distance from the serpent. This will give you enough time to deflect the ball. Overall, the first stage is very simple, and you will complete it without any problems. Don't fall asleep while on this stage of the because sometimes, maybe once, the ball can come at fast speed toward you, and you will need to be awake to hit it back. Some people try to entertain themselves with jumps, runs, using emotions, and so on, just because the game is very relaxed at this period of time. Don't worry if you get hit by the ball. Every player can absorb two balls before the third hit temporarily gets you out of the game, and you will respawn after several seconds. Stage 2. The bottle second stage is a very difficult one, almost impossible to pass for a team with inexperienced players. Having at least 5 experienced players in the team will increase chances to complete this stage and survive the whole battle. 
On this stage, the World Serpent is positioned far back and above the map and shoots a ball that targets players, which can be deflected back to the World Serpent. This is the stage where gamers need to watch for red and yellow waves and be prepared to jump over the waves to survive. If touching the wave, the player is instantly dead and will need to wait for respawning. At the same time, the player needs to watch for balls which add complexity to the game as it requires a lot of multitasking and concentration. Red waves are moving slower than the yellow waves, so players need to try to adjust their position by retreating back before jumping over the waves, catching the moment when yellow and red waves get close together. This is a very difficult problem to solve and requires full attention and concentration. Players will need to use a double jump, unless they are located on the rock, located on the other side of the map far from the serpent. I will show you this rock on the map, please have a look. Standing on the elevated rock will increase your chances for survival as it will be enough to use a single jump on each wave. It is also possible to use the dash ability to fly over several waves, but you always need to remember about the cooling down period for the dash ability, so use the ability closer to the end of the wave sequence. There is only one spot where players can avoid waves, and it is located on the very crest of the same rock where you can use a single jump for avoiding the waves. I will show you this crest on the rock with an arrow. Please have a look where it is. Here, in this example, you can see how one of the teammate players managed to avoid red waves without jumping, just by standing on the crest. This is a very interesting place to try to position yourself as, you probably won't need to jump above the waves at all. After players manage to dodge the waves and deflect the balls, the World Serpent eventually becomes vulnerable and loses health. This cycle goes on until the Serpent has lost the second green bar of its health, and the game will then enter Stage 3.
Stage 3. On this stage, the World Serpent is located in the center of the map, and two Serpent Shadow Clones are fighting on the side of the Serpent. The Serpent Shadow Clones will act as bodyguards for the Serpent. They can absorb some amount of hits without being damaged. The clones look like they are made of glass, they are kind of transparent, be prepared that they can shoot a ball at you anytime, they are your enemies, not your teammates. Remember that you have to always target the serpent as this is your main enemy. Be prepared for deflecting three balls that target players at the same time, as each clone will have their ball to shoot. On this stage, the waves are emitted more frequently. Fortunately, there are several safe places where players can stay safely above the waves. You have to get to a safe place as soon as the stage 3 starts, to take a safe spot before the red waves are emitted. These are two black rocks at the sides of the map and a blue platform right behind the serpent. This stage is easier than the stage 2. You need to remember to get to the safe place as soon as possible and keep in mind the clones with their extra balls. The game finishes when the world serpent finally gets enough damage and dies. If your team is lucky enough, you will pass this stage and will get some rewards. One of the possible rewards is the Serpent Shadow Clone ability. That's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more updates. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.